These are armor charges, and we all know the power that they hold. But instead of going through the whole list of what they can do, let's skip to just what we want them for. And that's to increase our damage by 22% through surge mods. The issue is that with surge mods comes a timer on your armor charges, slowly depleting your armor charges away until you have no more left. And if your orb spawn game isn't at a decent level, or there are just no adds to defeat to spawn orbs, or you're just unfortunately a warlock that will not get the three orbs that spawn from your well of radiance, you're going to be doing 22% less damage than the rest of your team. Hello, my name is Ian Evolution and I play Destiny 2 way too much. And during my live streams where I am low manning raids such as Crota, Root of Nightmares, or Pantheon, I get one question constantly. Ian, how do your armor charges not have a timer on them? And I'll tell you. This concept is called storing armor charges. The idea to stack and store them while in the downtime between damage phases. Just for you to use them when you need to at the start of a damage phase. And I'll teach you everything you need to know, as well as going into the positives of adopting this practice. Up first is, well, how to do it. The one and only mod that should stay on your character at all times is Special Finisher. If you have not adopted this practice yet, do it now, because it's got multiple applications. Not only does it spawn ammo on command, it lets you pick up and store armor charges, as long as you don't have any consumption mods. That is, Kickstarters, any stat boosters, defense mods, and most importantly, surge mods. With all of these off of your build, this leaves a lot of room for your survivability actually. And that is one of the positives to this. How does it boost your survivability? Well, you can still pick up orbs, and you want to start picking up orbs, not only to stack your surges through the special finisher mod, but to pair it with mods such as Recuperation, Better Already, maybe any form of Ability Regen mod as well, such as Innervasion or Invigoration, which will help your neutral game during these downtimes of damage phases, which are mainly just surviving and add clearing. Pick your poison, but in the end of the day, you don't want surge mods on this variation of your build. Now, of course, with with this storing surge build idea comes with the practice that you need to start using loadout swaps. One will be for your survivability and your armor charge stacking, and the other will actually use the armor charges when it comes down to damage. And the only main difference that you really need to take into consideration is changing your legs from your survivability mods over to your surge mods. Now of course with armor charge stacking, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't utilize special finisher whenever you need it. Of course having ammo on demand is always always nice to have. And if you need it, use it. It only takes three orbs, and if you pack your build with the right type of siphon mod, making orbs will never be a problem. But stacking armor charges makes raiding much more stress-free, potentially boosts your overall damage if you have not been doing this before, and especially if you are the well warlock. I know it's a pretty short video, just wanted to come out and say this one, teach you guys one of the tricks that I've been utilizing ever since the beginning of Lightfall, and something I think everyone should just start doing. That's all from me, I hope this helps you and your raids out in the future, and if you could like this video and subscribe, it would be much appreciated for me. Helps get this video out into the algorithm, and leave a comment, why not? And to take a note out of Toidy's book, if you don't know what to comment, just comment. Armor charges. That's all for me. Take care. Peace.